Hello everybody and welcome to Will You Press The Button. I'm Warthong and I haven't played this game in a damn long time. I played this way back when it first came out I think and I played it, I think I've got linked to it from Reddit or something, but I figured I'd come back and record it maybe and see what some of the weird questions that have been added since then are. So first up, you get paid to move to Australia but spiders can fly. Um. Okay, uh, spiders are probably one of my worst fears, including the ocean as well, and everything in it. Um, spiders can fly. I would much rather just stay in Canada where it's cold and spiders can't fly, <laughs> and I would just rather avoid that whole situation, so I will not. You become euphoric, enlightened by your own intelligence. You're a fat neck beard. <laughs> you become euphoric and enlightened by your own intelligence, but you're a fat neck beard. Oh my god. Isn't that just something? I think I'll press that button, because even if you're a fat neck beard, you could change that. You can just shave and exercise. So I'll press that button. See, you have the ability to save anyone who is about to die, but this does not work on your family members or friends. Well, basically, you're you've gained an ability and you've lost nothing. You can't use it on your family members or friends, but you can save anybody in the world. You already can't save your family and fr friends from death, so why wouldn't you press that button? Jeez. You can have dinner with any musical artist, alive or dead. The last thing they want to talk about is music. Yeah, that's fine. Have dinner with a fucking famous music musician. They just don't want to talk about music. We'll talk about anything else. Talk about cars. Talk about video games. Sure. You'll never feel depressed or anxious again. You'll lose two random fingers. Uh, I kind of need my fingers. Just, you know, for what I do on the internet. N not that. Not that at all. No, 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 no. I, I'm talking about playing games on the internet. I need my fingers. I would not want to lose them. I don't want to accidentally lose, like, my index finger and never be able to use my mouse properly again and have to, like, have a weird grip on it or something. I don't want to lose my middle finger on my left hand and not be able to press the W key anymore. So, yeah, I'd rather just feel depressed and anxious. Let's see. You can eat whatever you want, whenever you want. You'll always be cold. Oh, it will always be cold. Refrigerator leftovers. Oh. Well, if it's pizza, that's not that bad. I mean, I like cold pizza. Or if it's sushi, that's one of my favorite foods. Sushi cold is good. Like, who wants to eat really warm sushi anyway? Uh, and it's not like you have to eat it cold. You don't have to eat it. It's just if you want to eat whatever you want to eat. Sure. I will... $100 will magically appear in your wallet or pockets every day for the rest of your life. You have to deal with kidney stones for the rest of your life. <laughs> oh my god. I do not want to be peeing glass for the rest of... Uh, for the rest of my goddamn life. Just for $100 in my pocket. No. You gain $50,000, but somewhere in the world, someone you don't know will die. Ah. Oh. See, I'm going to look like an asshole here. Because maybe that person you don't know who dies is bad. Maybe they're a bad person in general. Maybe they're, like, I don't know, a murderer. Maybe they're in prison for something that... I don't know. I don't know. But... Yeah, I'm gonna look like a bad person here. No matter what, I don't really... I guess I don't care if someone I don't... Well, uh, fuck! I do care if someone I don't know dies, but I want $50,000. I'm sorry. Pressing this button will cause you to experience the most intense and pleasurable orgasm you'll ever experience. You can press this button as much as you want, but your health deteriorates the more you press the button. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
health deteriorates? Like, in what way? Do you just get sick, or do you... Does your body start to fall apart? Do you get, like... I don't know. you get leprosy or something? Oh, God. You... Uh... That, that'd be a useful button to have. I guess that would be a useful button to have, just to have around. Sure. Press that button. You gain Spider-Man's abilities, you have to be naked for them to work. I see no downside here. You gain Spider-Man's abilities, but you have to be naked for them to work? Fuck, I've always, since I was a kid, I've always wanted to climb on the roof. Like, hang out on the roof like Spider-Man? I'll just hang out on the roof of my own house. That doesn't freaking matter to me. I'll just be on the roof, hanging around, having fun, and I'll just happen to be naked. It's in my own house. It's not like anyone's going to call the police on me. And then if I really needed to use those abilities in a certain situation, like, say, I don't know, someone's robbing a bank and I'm the only one who can stop them, I'll just strip naked right there. Web some people, you know? Just web them, catch the guys, and they'll be like, why'd you do that? Explain the whole thing. I have Spider-Man's abilities, but I have to be naked for them to work. It's just the way it is. I'm sorry. They'll probably think I'm crazy, but hey, I saved the bank, and I, I did something good. I'm pressing that button. You're the world's most talented musician, but you can never listen to any music but your own. Oh, That... What... What if I don't like my own music? What if I just don't like the sound of my own voice? You know? Like... And what kind of musician are you? Are you like a classical musician? Are you like in a rock band? Are you just in a choir kind of thing? Uh... Damn. Like, maybe you don't like the sound of your own voice. No, I'm not gonna press that button. You get a free PS4 and a free copy of GTA 5 to play on it. Your mom will kick you to the kick you to the groin 15 times. Uh I can just buy my own PS4 and GTA 5. I don't really want to get kicked in the groin 15 times by my mom. You know how to fly a plane, but you don't know how to swim. See, I don't see how knowing how to fly a plane would benefit me at all. Uh I'm I've never in my life had a situation where it's like, oh, damn, I wish I knew how to fly a plane right now. But there are certain situations in my life where it's like, oh, it's a good thing that I know how to swim. Otherwise, I'd be drowning right now. Like when I have to go from an island to back to the shore. when I've already floated out there on something and then lost my floaty. <laughs> or say I fall off a boat. That's a good reason to know how to swim. Going to the pool is fun, so that's another good reason to know how to swim. There's more situations where being able to swim is a better idea than being able to fly a plane. So, I will not press that button. Become the world's greatest detective and gain master fighting skills, but your parents are killed in front of you, the man who killed them adopts you, and you can't harm him. So you're basically like Batman, except you got adopted by the person who killed your parents. And you can't harm him. Wow, that is... That's heavy. Your parents are killed in front of you, and the man who killed them adopts you, and you can't harm him. But you become the world's greatest detective and gain master fighting skills. Well, why would I need to be the world's greatest detective with master fighting skills? I think I'd rather have my parents be alive, to be honest, so no. Half-Life 3 comes out, but you can't play it for 15 years, and you can only watch 12-year-old trolls play it? Oh, no. No. I do not need to watch 12-year-olds do a Let's Play of Half-Life 3. I would rather Half-Life 3 not come out than have that. You can read anything, any language, even music, but you can't write anything by any means. But I can have an interpreter, right? I can just have someone interpret what I'm saying, write it down for me. I, I'm assuming that with the ability to read any language, even lost languages, you'd be able to get a pretty nice job uh, as like a historian or something like that, reading these lost manuscripts and, well, 
that one book, I can't remember what it's called. It's like the indecipherable book or something like that. If you were able to read that, I'm sure you'd make bank. So you'd be able to just hire someone to write things down for you. I'm pressing the button. That beat is right on time. <laughs>